transformation is something that can only come through true healing. And true healing can really only come through an integrated mind, body, spirit um, experience, right? So much information that's out there, so many of us as individuals hyper-focus on one of these three areas, whether it be the mind and having discipline and focus, gaining knowledge, intellect, or some of us focus so much on the spiritual, being a good churchgoer, a good member of your, your religious or spiritual community, being a leader, a helper, a friend, a missionary, whatever it is that you feel called to do in that area of your life. Or they focus so much on the body, the aesthetics, that surface level. So in looking at all three, the mind, the body, the spirit, and, and seeing how every single day we can exercise these separate but com only compartmentalized aspects of ourselves. When I think about being a woman in this day and age, if I were to explain what that is like, I would explain, I would say that, that there is great freedom, there's great opportunity and freedom of expression, at least you know, definitely here in the United States of America, but I would also say that there are a great deal of many limitations. And as, as in all aspects of life where there's opposition in all things, it is such with being a woman. Somehow societies come to this general consensus that, that women are to be impervious to change, that they are to be able to defy the aging process that women are to have, have children but look like they never have. That's absolutely ludicrous to me. It is so essential and vital that we exercise our bodies and that we exercise our minds and that we stay active and integrated and whole. But you don't need to have double D breasts to do that. You don't need to have a large derriere or a certain size waist or um, huge lips or <laughs> wrinkle-free face. I saw a news article the other day talking about a young girl under the age of 20 who lost her life as a result of cosmetic surgery. That absolutely broke my heart. 20 years old, beautiful girl, genetically born biologically with a smaller cup size. <laughs> she wanted implants, you know? She wanted to, to look a certain way, to meet a certain ideal, maybe have more confidence, feel better about herself, whatever her reasons were. But she probably had perfect breasts. <laughs> She's so beautiful, you know? And, and now she lost her life because she felt that she needed to have a certain cup size in order to be valuable, to be beautiful, to feel good about herself. There's something wrong with that. It's not right. Next time that you feel like your body is not enough, that you are not enough, take a moment to actually look at yourself and identify you for the wonderful, magnificent, powerful being that you are. Aging is an honor. It is a joy. With every additional day of my life, I am learning and I am growing. I'm expanding in my consciousness. I'm expanding in my earthly experience. I'm meeting new people. I'm doing new things. I'm helping others. Only now in my life have I been able to finally truly understand where worth self-worth comes from when I mean, what it actually feels like to really feel good in your own skin in your own body despite whether or not it's perfection regardless of it. there's a pressure to look a certain way which would send someone to the gym and then at the gym there's even a pressure there to look a certain way to do certain things, to have their 
the, the outcome of their fitness results even predicted to be a certain way. It's hard enough to lose weight. It's hard enough to get in shape. It's hard enough to ha- change bad habits. Now there's a pressure to alter your body composition to a societally idolized standard. <laughs> what else would you like me to do? Should I jump through hoops and swallow sword while I work out, while I get in shape? So begin to let go. You don't need to wear anything particular when you work out. You don't need to look any sort of way when you work out. You don't need to eat in a one size fits all kind of way. You get to be you. You get to have some wrinkles and not have to hide behind 12 inches of makeup. You get to have funny freckles, funny scars, noses that aren't straight, teeth that are crooked. You get to have all those things and still be beautiful, still be powerful, still be amazing, still be healthy, still be fit, still be sexy, still be strong. You get to have all of it. You get to be all of it. And don't spend time, energy, or money on things or in ways or in places that only serve an external, societally idolized standard rather than serving you and your highest. Step up into your power. Be the beautiful woman that you are. I love you. Ciao.